You know kids, when you think about the 1990s, a lot of things usually spring to mind. Uh, the Nintendo 64, uh, the Buffalo Bills losing four Super Bowls in a row, uh, the Waco, Texas standoff with the Branch Davidians, uh, Reginald Denny getting yanked out of his truck and nearly being beat to death during the Rodney King riots in LA. I mean, just so many great memories. Oh, the Rwanda genocide. I almost forgot about that one. That's definitely up there with Trapper Keepers and Polly Pocket. But ultimately, you know, when you think about 1990s things, the ultimate ephemeral 1990s relic outside of the Tamagotchi, outside of the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, outside of the Prison of the United States receiving, well, some things from interns, the most 90s thing imaginable has to be Crystal Pepsi. And of course, you know, this being a the big boom period for 1990s nostalgia. Of course, Pepsi, uh, sensing a, a profitable uh, market arena to latch on to, decided to go ahead and re-release Crystal Pepsi. And as you can see here, I mean, it, it's very authentic. I mean, it looks very much like the old uh, 1990s product. A lot of interesting things about this one, though. I mean, it's such a minimal design. I mean, you look at this, and uh, it looks like something out of Back to the Future too even though it's technically based on a model that is, what, 25 years old? So anyway, for those of you who don't recall the 1990s, weren't born yet, uh, Pepsi Clear was basically uh, Pepsi going out there and re-releasing the standard Pepsi Cola we all know and love, but without adding the black sludge. Now it's funny because soda is actually naturally clear. Uh, the reason why it looks brown is because they add the caramel artificial coloring afterwards. So this is actually pretty much what soda looks like in its natural form. They just, you know, add the coloring later on. So, I mean, it's not really that interesting of a product scientifically. As you can see here, the product itself, pretty comparable to the regular Pepsi, 250 calories, a lot of carbohydrates. But the thing that really, really struck me about the product, right there at the very bottom, partially produced with genetic engineering. I've never seen this on a food label before. So, uh, I'm just slightly concerned about that. But, um, yeah, if I turn into a mutant, if I grow uh, wings, turn into a Ninja Turtle villain, we all know who to blame. Alright, so I, I very much recall the product. I have that taste embedded in my memory. And the thing is, basically, from what I recollect, Crystal Pepsi was more or less sort of like this weird interface between Diet Pepsi and Mountain Dew. Like, it didn't taste naturally like Pepsi. I mean, it kind of had that taste, but it also kind of felt a little more citrusy. And it seemed to get flat a whole lot uh, quicker than the standard Pepsi, but whatever. Uh, but I do hear they actually have tweaked the formula. Well, let's see what they're working with here. Yeah, it has corn syrup, not natural sugar like the, uh, the old school beverage. So, yeah, let's see if it tastes anything like the old product. Man, this is a historic moment. It's so historic after using my, my Raiders cup. So there you can see we're getting a very nice fizz. It is carbonated, push your under, so you can see there. And the color overall, I mean, not much to see. It's translucent. It's the same color as Sprite. So now I'm going to do my patriotic duty. Mm. Wow. i got to say something, guys. It tastes remarkably a lot like Pepsi. In fact, it tastes identical to Pepsi. That's because it is Pepsi. Except now, it's translucent. Because it was once translucent and it failed as a marketing gimmick. And, you know, 20 years after the fact, might as well try it again. You know, because you don't expect it to be a huge success. But whatever. It's here. It's uh, pandering to the 1990s market. And kids, just to give you, like, a, an honest observation here. This thing does not really at all taste like the old school Crystal Pepsi. I mean, old Crystal Pepsi had a very distinct, uh, certainly divergent taste from the Pepsi we know and love. And this one tastes pretty much identical to the standard Pepsi. So it's not the same product there. Same name, same packaging, same idea, but essentially it's just Pepsi, you know, sans the um, added food coloring. So all in all, if you like Pepsi, if you like things that are translucent, if you like 1990s nostalgia, it's here. Give it a try. You may like it. If you love Pepsi, you'll love this. If not, eh, this is the fad. Again.